Hello my dear students hope all are doing well in today's math session we are going to learn what is mean by opposite rays and based on the same we are going to solve practice set 18 now in order to learn what is mean by opposite rays we are going to see some examples here we have been provided with a figure in which we are able to see an angle by observing this figure we need to name the rays which we are able to figure it out over here children firstly let's see what is mean by a ray a ray starts with a point and it ends with a arrow and this arrow shows that its end is never ending or it says that you can stretch it far now children see here in the figure we are able to see two rays one is ray ba and another one is ray bc we need to name the origin of the ray now what is mean by an origin an origin is the starting point of the ray so here in this figure we have point b as the origin for both the rays that is for ray ba as well as ray bc then we need to name the angle in the figure now what is mean by naming here you need to identify the type if you observe the figure carefully definitely you can comment that the measure of this angle it's something more than 90 But definitely less than one eighty. That is, it is an obtuse angle. Now let's see a second example. In the second example, if you observe the fi figure carefully, you will find out that the measure of this angle is going to be one eighty degree. Why one eighty degree? Why? Because its rays are moving exactly in opposite direction. So already this we have learned in types of angle. now let's see what is the question based on it we need to name the angle in the figure alongside so just now we saw the measure of the angle is 180 degree so it is going to be a straight angle now we need to name the rays whose origin is point b now children see whose origin is point b now from point b how many rays we are able to find out that are emerging now see from point b we are able to see ray ba and ray bc now children if i want to comment about this ray ba and bc both of them start with a common starting point or you can say a common origin then second thing is what second thing is they are moving in exactly opposite direction and the third thing is what they make an angle of exactly 180 degree in between them so whenever you are able to find the two rays which are starting from a common origin and the rays move exactly in a opposite direction making an angle of 180 degree between them you can say that they are opposite rays now let's precisely see what did we learn that the two rays which have a common origin and which form a straight line are always termed as a pair of opposite rays Now, children, based on the same, we are going to solve practice set eighteen. So here we have the first question as name the pair of opposite rays in the figure alongside. Now, children, here if you observe this point P, emerging from point P, we have ray P L and P M. Now we need to check the conditions. Point P is the common origin for both of them. this pl and pm they are moving exactly in the opposite direction and the third condition if you see they are making exactly an angle of 180 degree that is they form a straight line that's why ray pl and pm will be a pair of opposite rays also we can comment the same about this ray pn and pt so even they will form a pair of opposite rays then we have the second question as are the ray pm and pt opposite rays if yes or no you need to justify your answer that is you need to give reason now children see ray pm and pt let's check the three conditions they have, first condition is satisfied that is they have a common origin as point p but the second condition was to check whether they move in opposite direction no for this ray pm and pt they don't move in opposite direction either they are forming an acute angle in between them that is your third condition is also not satisfied so what we can say that ray pm and pt do not form a straight line and hence they are not a pair of opposite rays 
I hope children everyone is clear with today's concept and if there is any difficulty or if there is any query please feel free to drop it into the comment section. Thank you.